Hello, Hello Floss Tube. We're, We're the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And this is Ronnie and Piper. And we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. And we hope that all the moms out there had a happy Mother's Day. We forgot last week to say anything about it, which is our typical thing that we do for every holiday. Yeah. So. <laughs> we're going to try to talk a little bit quieter today so he doesn't know that we're doing Floss Tube so he doesn't run in here. It's like as soon as we say hello, Floss Tube, he's like, oh! <laughs> Cash. Um, okay. And the picture last week on my Instagram and Facebook page, she had taken the clicker away from yeah, him. Yeah, he was fine, guys. He was fine. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Babies cry. It was funny. Yes. Okay. Um, She's going to get down and not bark because we're doing a floss tube. All right. We have so many exciting things to show you today. So first, we usually start with questions. Uh, well, what did we do this week? We celebrated Mother's Day. We did a day of service. I'm going to try to fix this a little bit. It's shown a lot of us. We didn't get a day of service, though, because it was raining on Mother's Day. <laughs> it was raining, but I helped... You and Hunter helped. Yeah. Uh, we put up trellises. Mom got her garden put together. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, we planted her garden. Mm -hmm. She did it. So it looks <laughs> very good. Mm -hmm. I love having the raised bed so far. Yes. And I can't wait until everything starts to grow. Yes. What else did we do? Uh, went to a few garden centers. So w Wisconsin... Is open. Supreme Court Illinois overruled. It's not. <laughs> I, but I'm still staying at home and... Um, it, it's just a different thing. And we went to the garden center yesterday and Wisconsin doesn't have the rule where you have to wear a mask. Illinois, so you have like to wear a mask. people had masks. Yeah, so it's, I, I don't know, you know, just whatever. Stay away from people. All right, so anyways, into questions this week. You have Arlene. earrings on? Yeah, I put my <laughs> Minnie and Mickey earrings from Tara, right? Uh, Arlene, are you... To try not to play with my hair. Arlene, are you having issues getting all the fancy flosses you need? I see that several shops online are out. So we personally have not run into that yet, but we know that when they're trying to make floss packs, like at that quarter shop for our designs, that there is a little bit of problems. But yes. hopefully everything's just going to turn around. I'm so we are hoarders. Optimistic. Like yes. in our heart. <laughs> and mom uses like five colors from Classic Color Works that she really loves. So she has a stockpile of those all the time. And if I need anything, I can just whoop. <laughs> um, she actually had to give me floss the other day. Yeah, right, steamed broccoli. Um, no, but we have our floss packs that have like the seasons or whatever. So those have like most of the colors that we use and it's been great. Yes. Eva, when you say you mounted the item on sticky board, have you placed any filler in between? Sometimes I use batting, sometimes I don't. Yes. And whenever I do my blog post, I tell you whether I use batting or not. Is that your stomach or yes, the dog? Yes, my stomach growling. <laughs> starving. What did, oh, people wanted to know what we made last week. I don't even remember. Uh, Teresa, when can we expect to see more autumn designs? I'm an autumn kind of girl. Soon. Next Soon. month. Next month you'll see the sneak peeks. Yes. Or the peaks. Or Maybe the... you'll see the full peak. Yeah. You'll see the full Monty. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, next is Bridget. Will long, sh will long May She Wave, Sam and Liberty, and Trekking Along patterns be available in your Etsy shop as downloads? Yes. Trekking Along June was in placed there in there yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it's about 45 days after release We're trying to give the stores a chance to sell them, yeah. especially with what's going on now. Yes, and we know that shipping can be slower and things like that. So mm -hmm. we're just trying to, to do our part and be respectful to the stores. And on that front, thank you all so much for tagging us, for showing your stitching, for showing Ooh. your purchases, because we get so excited every time we see them. Yes, <laughs> a lot of you have started the, the newer ones, and we are super excited mm -hmm. that you are making room in your mania for them mm -hmm. thank you so much we appreciate it and we love seeing and it and so many Absolutely. of you have already finished the june truck and right actually finished finished and they're just amazing and kimberly finished the top and she said they've got me stitching chickens <laughs> <laughs> thank you kimberly um all right and i read the comments on there and somebody else was like and i went to hobby lobby and i bought chickens and my husband was <laughs> laughing at me and then i went back and i bought another chicken it was very funny um, all right, Kay, do you know where I can find the, the thank you pattern from your gift last week? I think that was a freebie from uh, Hands On Design. You can probably find it on her blog, right? That was a I freebie. I have no idea. I think that was a freebie for all of this going on. Bridget, nope, already asked that. All right, Christine, did I hear you say you were watching Waco? Yes, I finished that. And she said she was reading a book. I didn't know it was based on a book. I just clicked on it one day when I was stitching. Hello, how many large project bags fit into a real housewife bag? I think I had all my mani in there last year, like mm -hmm. 30. Yeah, so a lot. I would say 20 comfortably. 
you we, might be able to get 30. We don't use Q-snaps, though, so that would give yes. you a little less room, but a, a lot of bags are fit in there. Or even a hoop or anything. We don't use any of that. Right. Judy, nope. Mercedes, what kind of wood did you use for your raised beds? Um, so Untreated. At, right. At first, we were going to use the treated lumber, and then I Googled it, and then we weren't. Yeah. I didn't want to spend the amount of money that it would cost to do cedar. Cedar is like five times more expensive than regular untreated lumber. Um, and you figure if you have to replace the treated, I mean, you can replace it five times before you mm -hmm. have to. So yes, it would be a lot of work, but I it's mean, like cost it's effective. Minus pine or fir or whatever they call it. But yeah. my husband is going to take cedar trim cedar and put it around the top edges so that the rain is going to, when it lands on the top, it'll be cedar up there. So, yeah. Um, okay. And then treated you just you don't want the chemicals leaching into your right. supposedly food. it's safe but i don't want to take the chance yes. so just regular wood judy how do i get a copy of the magazine that you are in forever and ever <laughs> uh so you can go onto their website and do a digital download and uh lots of stores and online like fat quarter shop or uh, yes. local need to work shops right. they carry it in their stores and as barnes well. and noble sells it but i guess they're not going to have it now because joanne's they're not too. open yeah uh -huh. joanne's joanne fabrics has it Kelly, what make and model? I thought that was funny how she put it. Make and model is the fabric you use for Bloomtopia. It's a gingham 32 count. It is, um, Bar it's, is it, bar what's the color on it? Is it I thought it was just gray and tan, but it, it's barn board check or something, right? Yeah. It is on Fat Quarter. That's it, where she got it. Yes. It's from Fat Quarter Shop. Yes. I can link it below. I'm going to write myself a note. Gingham. Okay. Um, Brenda, Inquiring Minds want to know what flavor pies you picked up. So a pecan, what was it? I forget. Caramel, caramel pecan something, and then French the, silk. The caramel pecan has French silk on it too. And I'm not a pecan pie lover, but I love pecans. So the two of them together, like I scrape off the caramel. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah, that's weird. Um, <laughs> All right, Mindy, have you thought about what's in your cup as a book, like the Blackbird books, and do a special pattern with Ron Ronnie, Piper, and Calvin in a cup? So we have been working on getting prices on doing them individually, and we might do that. We haven't decided if it's going to be soon or after the first of the year because we really have a lot going on, yeah. but we we think that they are going to come out in chart form because stores want to carry them. and Yep. We're, we just want to make sure that it's economical for everyone mm -hmm. involved all right um and that they are up to our standards of what we want in a chart yes kathy do you use beeswax to condition your thread no we do not i worry that any of that stuff is gonna sit on your like let's see you have it in a kitchen and you know how there's a little bit of grease in there or whatever that dust is gonna stick to it then okay i feel like if i just leave it plain nothing's gonna stick to it okay uh, but Kimberly at Fat Quarter Shop, she just recently started using that, and mm -hmm. she really, really likes it. Mm -hmm. Cindy, will your patterns in Punch Needle and Prim Stitcher magazine be sold separately? I do not do Punch Needle, but love your summer days, and I must stitch it. Yes, but it won't be available until a year after the magazine comes out. So, yeah. like, next spring, we'll be able to put out the spring tulips, tulips and then... Next summer, like, summer daisies. This time next year, the summer daisies will be in our Etsy shop. Yes. Cynthia, what are you calling the boards you lay your thread on for a project? They're Lori they're Holtz design, design boards. boards. That's what they're called. They're made for quilting. Like you put your little pieces on there and it, they a fabric after you cut them so that you know where to sew them together probably. To lay out right? your block, yes. Um, so we we were using the bigger ones for our floss because they they have that like fleece that you're floss sticks to so the newer ones are called bitty boards if that's what you were asking mm -hmm. as well denise how do you convert dmc to classic color works if the pattern calls for dmc so there's so not the, a chart yeah there are some, not dmc to classic well you could probably figure it out but if i'm doing a chart that's dmc i and i like the colors that they're showing i will just pick similar ones if it's not colors that i like i just pick what i like it's not like, yeah. I don't feel like there's any rules. No, there's not. Yep. 
Laurel, I'm doing a piece close to the size of Plum Street's Liberty's Welcome, but the Monaco I get at Fat Quarter Shop is not large enough. Do you order pe larger pieces somewhere else? So we had a bunch. We we ordered it. We used to order it by, by the, the bolt yard. From Joanne Fabrics by and, the bolt. Yeah. And we have bolts left, but there is this other fabric that's called Linda, and I'm not sure if they have it at Fat Quarter Shop, but it's 27 count instead of 28 count. I have some of it because I wanted to see if it was the same as Monaco in case we went through all yeah, of Yeah, because Monaco. there was the Monaco shortage. Yeah, thing. and everybody was just flipping out. <laughs> so I ordered some and it feels almost the same to me. So maybe try that and you can get that in one yard pieces because my piece was a yard. Okay. But I don't remember where I bought it. Yeah, one, two, three uh, used to do oh, Monaco by the yard. We would get yards of it from right, there. But right, they, but And then Joy and Fabrics, you could buy the whole bolt. Yep. Bridget, where do you purchase your Monaco? Just went over that. Michelle? Most of it comes from Fat Quarter Shop, though. They yep. sell the 18 the by 27 or whatever. And they're easy just to throw in the pot and to take off to die. Right, to die. Michelle wants to know, does Piper bark? She appears very calm. So she barks when anybody comes in the house. She barks because she wants to kill Hunter. She barks because she wants to kill my husband. But when you put her outside... She doesn't bark. Like so there, to let you know to go inside. So there were a couple of times when she got left outside for a little bit too long. But she forgot. <laughs> she also barks at 4.30. If she hasn't been fed dinner yet, she starts barking. Just, <laughs> Hi. And then Ronnie starts barking like hysterically. Yeah. And then when Piper knows her food is coming to her, she spins in circles. <laughs> like this. Just <laughs> like a tornado. Just <laughs> <laughs> it's hysterical. Um, all right. Joanne. Joanne, does anyone know why there was no spring chart for the Blackbird designs? No, we, we wanted to know the same thing. That. We didn't. Maybe, maybe maybe they need to design one now. Wouldn't that be awesome? Patch Mini Bear, did you ever get squash bugs on your plants? And if so, what are your remedies? Yes. Rip the whole plant out. <laughs> she rips the whole plant out. I'll try diatomaceous earth first. I tried that too. It didn't work. A lot of times it doesn't. They say neem oil as well. I ripped the plant. So we do succession sowing. So we're not going to plant all our zucchini today. We're going to plant some now. We'll plant some in a week. And I plant them in separate beds so that if this one gets squash bugs, the one right next to it isn't going to. So rip it out and you'll have the next crap ready for mm -hmm. you. But they're the grossest things. They, they are disgusting. Mm. Um, okay. Question about the chalkboards in your house. How do you draw? Do you draw each of those? Yes, they all get erased Ooh. and redrawn. She wanted to know if she stores them. No. But I do take pictures, and that's how we are using a lot of them for our charts. Yes. Tammy, do you plant your sunflower seeds at the same time as your zinnias? Are they just as easy as zinnias? Yes. I think yes. they're easier. So I... <laughs> it depends. On, like last year, somebody ate all mine. Yep. I... Um, have a garden area next to the chicken coop that I, I like them to till up. So I take a bag of bird seed and I throw it out there and they till it up. They eat some of the seeds. Some of them get buried and then I have sunflowers. So they're much easier than zinnias. In yes. My and if you feed your birds, feed them those black oil sunflowers and, and they, they drop. drop and then you have sunflowers yep. growing around your bird feeders. How will you place your vegetables in your raised beds? Will you mix flowers in between all yes. like vegetables together? Yes. So that, that was kind of what I was pointing at is I like to make sure that all of them are kind of, I have a little bit of everything in each bed so that if this one gets a disease, you know, this one isn't automatically going to get it because sometimes I think so all five beds have tomatoes though, right? Right. They all have tomatoes. Plus the two little square ones have tomatoes. Yep. So she so. has five beds, two um, little squares, little square beds, and she has four arches, right? Mm -hmm. Four arches. Uh, she's going to have the trailing black eyed Susan vines mm -hmm. going up those. I had those last year. And then the cucumbers, cucumbers that grow the big long cucumbers mm -hmm. grow up my child's sister. She also put uh, okay. some tomatoes against it. So she's going to touch the tomatoes. tomatoes against it. Yeah. Well, we needed tomatoes. My husband was out there supervising us to her. <laughs> <laughs> like All right, Carolyn, can you order punch needle if you live in the UK? I'm sure you can. Yeah. You can definitely get a diff digital copy, and uh, probably your shops there have it too. Yep. Linda, do you think you'll offer a thread pack for the Trucking Along series? So we will not, but. But Fat Quarter Shop has the club, which get, you get right. the. You get the thread, you get the fabric, and you get the pattern. Mm -hmm. So that's. I, but I'm not sure if any of the shops are offering the thread packs. So if you're a shop and you watch us, put your shop in the comments below. I know Southern Stitchers Co. has. Thread packs, but I don't know if it's for the truck and along. I know okay. she has Salmon Liberty and she has Long May She Wave. Okay. 
I've just seen those advertised. Uh, Jackie, can you say the names of the stitching themes again? Santa Sunday, Merry Monday, Tuesday, stitch what you want, Wednesday, Witchy Wednesday, Thursday, stitch what you want, Friday, Fall Friday, Saturday, Stars and Stripes Saturday, and then we're back to Sunday again. Santa Sunday. I said it. I know, it's shocking. Okay, that's all the questions I have for you today. Okay, so first of all, we will show you what went in the Etsy shop yesterday. Yep, yeah, this is home, and this is the third in our Patriotic series, and I think if I had to do it again, I would have stitched the home word in black instead of, we had originally wanted it blue, but it didn't show up enough, so I changed it to red, but I think I would have liked it better if it was black, but I don't know why I'm telling you this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you didn't think that should be something I should know. <laughs> anyway, so it's it's a home with the bunting and the fireworks going off overhead and the flagpole. And then, of course, the two yard chickens down below. But, you know, with staying home and we're all like, this is our shrine. So there you go. Also, if you uh, wanted to change it for your country, this one would be really easy. Just right. to change the bunting, change the Change the colors. colors, yes. Really easy. Yes, because it's not so stylized of a flag. Just put the colors of your flag and put the colors of your on your bunting and you're ready to go. Woo! So this is on our Etsy as a PDF download. Yes. And a lot of you have already started last stitching Last week it was too. Stars and Stripes, right? Yes. And the week before that was USA with the Eagle. And I don't know where that one went. Cash pipe. Okay, so you ready to see the new trucking along for right. August? That's what we're doing. Done. So you know August had to be sunflowers. And there's bees, bee scaps, a little green truck, sunflowers, chickens. And then the up at the top there's a bee scap and then the the chickens and the word. And I finished it on sticky board. I did not add batting. I used black buffalo check for the backing. And then I did a bow with two different buffalo. It's the same ribbon, but two different pieces. And then put the ends on and put a covered button in the middle with the little gingham. And this is that frame from uh, Hobby Lobby. Yes, the black frame. Mm -hmm. I have the item number on the chart. Okay, and then these the, that we're showing you are all going to be shipping in the beginning of June. We show you mm -hmm. now, so if anybody wants to do pre orders or mm -hmm. if you want to get stuff ready for it, that's mm -hmm. why we're showing it to you early. Okay, and this one was a chalkboard that I had drawn for our kitchen last year, maybe, or the year before, and Chelsea loved it and she stitched it. Mom let me model stitch it. She gave me the color, she gave me the fabric, she gave me <laughs> how I was to stitch it, but she let me stitch it. I had to send her a picture of every stitch I did. You did not. <laughs> Such a good one. So, this is the Buzz of the Bees. And like I said, it was a chalkboard in the kitchen, and now it's a cross stitch piece. But Chelsea and her husband had made these frames for us with chicken wire in the back. So that's what it's on. And then I just did some greenery and a sunflower. My husband Hunter or my husband Andy? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Somebody thought Ch Hunter was Chelsea's husband. He's not. He's Hunter not is husband. now a customer service rep for Verizon up in his bedroom. So if you call a customer service, you could be calling a Hunter's bedroom. It's, it's not, it's it's not really, going well. It's one of those stores open up. He hates it. He, he did it for he about... He not. He likes it. He loves it. <laughs> he wants the store to open back up. Right. <laughs> but All anyway, right. there's sunflowers, a little chick, the bees. It's just adorable. We so, absolutely love this one. Mm -hmm. I was super excited to be able to stick it. Okay, and then remember the, I've given you a couple sneak peeks of this one from the garden center. And some people thought it was a cow. This is the next sip of the seasons. Dee! That's Ronnie. Ronnie in the garden. So Ronnie and the bees is what this one is called. Sip of the seasons, Ronnie and the bees. So, so far we've had Penelope and Peep, Sam and Liberty, and now Ronnie and the bees. Mm -hmm. And it's just uh, Jack Russell surrounded by flowers in her cute little dress and she's holding a bee scap in her cup. And this little garden gate box I found at Michael's and it was unpainted. And I think I got the garden sign there too, and I painted that with chalkboard paint. And then I just stuffed it full of, I didn't even glue them down, flowers and some greenery. And then I did a little bow and stuffed that in there too. But I mounted it on sticky board. I 
this is also something that I had bought for finishing, but I just used that and I glued it in the back to hold it on. And then I mounted it on a sticky board, no batting, and added blue chucks behind it. And I still feel like I want something like over the top, but I, you know, can't get to a store. So it might change a little bit, but I think it's so cute in the garden. Okay, and then we needed one more for next month because this is going to be for your July stitching and we do Jolly July. Yes. So another sip of the seasons. This is Jolly St. Nick and Rudolph. And he's got buffalo plaid trim on his pajamas. He's got his little like Ugg slippers on. With his little ankle showing. <laughs> he's got little tiny feet. <laughs> And it's cute little reindeer Rudolph in the and surrounded by I've shown you sneak peeks of this too the the Christmas lights and the greenery. So this will be shipping to shops next month. And if your shop doesn't already carry our things, maybe you should should suggest that you would love for them to carry our things. So this one I mounted on sticky board, no batting. Did the regular buffalo check and then the black buffalo check. And this is a frame from. Michael's that I had used this for Penelope and Peep too. Yes. And then I did a bow with two different kinds of ribbon and some greenery and the this is from Hobby Lobby last year. It's a rusty bell with the buffalo check balls and things. So those are our things. That's what we've been working on this week. Mom had to finish all of those last night. It was a finishing palooza. Mm -hmm. It was a lot but it was fun. Yes because She's they living her all. dream now. Yeah. Um, so again, those will be shipping in the beginning of June. Right. Beginning and of June. So apparently I wrote down the wrong address for the Las Vegas retreat, right? Yes. Uh, she forgot an S, so I have been copying it wrong. So I, anybody who had emailed me saying that it bounced back, I've emailed you back. I've also fixed all of the description boxes. So if you are interested in the Las Vegas retreat. Which is next spring. Next spring, uh, mom's doing seminars and she's teaching a class now. So oh, you're it, not going with? Yeah, you know, I am. I'm just <laughs> they they come to learn from Priscilla. <laughs> um, so I'm just there for comedic relief. Um, the email address is correct, and I'll put it again in the the description box below. Mm -hmm. All right. So recap: Buzz the and bees. I have to tell you that Piper's coming too. She she. <laughs> August is the truck along August. Uh, Jolly Saint Nick and Rudolph. And one, two, three, uh, Ronnie and the bees. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So for our August stitching, we have like a sunflower and bee theme, which is what yeah. I like to decorate with for those months. And then you got a good start on your Christmas. I just sat on my foot wrong. All right. Next up. Whips. Yes. Yours. Like have a come down after that. Okay. <laughs> um, what do we got here? And I'm going to ask you the question now. You can put your favorite that we just showed you as your... Oh, what, your favorite yeah. of the new And then releases. we'll ask you again, but this way I won't forget. All right, so I got my cute little bag. Um, this is a new start for this week. I said I wasn't going to do new starts, but I started it. Heart in Hand, Merry Making Mini, 31 October. This is like a postage stamp, so this is <laughs> making me feel really good. It's like three colors, and, it's, um, and there's beads that come with the pattern. It's a Heart in Hand... I'm almost done. I've been finalizing a lot of the charts so we can get them off to the printer. Proofreading a chart is really hard. <laughs> just, just saying. All right, next up is, that's like wadded up in there. A new start that I had last night. This is Home of the Brave, uh, Merry Making Mini again. I'm going for like the small start so I can get them done. Mm -hmm. And I'm changing the oh, colors on it. Old blue jeans and licorice red. I'm adopting mom's five colors. <laughs> Just. I have more than five colors. I probably have 20. <laughs> that she loves. Mm -hmm. And then I, I did not finish it. I told you guys I would finish it and I did not finish it. I also got six yards of mulch that I was putting down this week as well. I haven't finished, but I started. This is May Wordplay. What is going on right here? I finished the bees. The, her bees are super cute. And I traveled. Look at that traveling. 
Somebody asked to see the back of our things. Oh, you didn't ask you that go. question. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Mm. I think it was Kay, maybe, uh, that asked that. Um, and somebody else wanted our motto to be a stitch piece. We stitch for fun, not for perfection, whatever I said. If any of you own a nursery or work in a nursery and you have a Maisel Basil from Proof of Winners <laughs> and you ship, can you let us know? <laughs> she has gone to every local nursery trying well, to find a Maisel, Maisel Basil. Basil again. It gets huge and then it doesn't matter if it blooms because it doesn't change the, oh. yeah. yeah, whatever. It doesn't change the flavor if it uh, it was like, goes to seed. It was like a shrub. It, it hers was huge. Just trying to get it out of the pot after the season was over mm -hmm. was difficult. It was woody. Yes. <laughs> this is um, Heartstring Samplery Bee Garden. And I just did a little bit more on this, not a ton. All right, that's my whips this week. <laughs> So I am two behind on my mania starts, <gasps> if you include today. <gasps> Shoot, I was four behind. So I started two things yesterday. Because I first I had to stitch the the what's in my cup. Yep. And then I had to stitch the Santa. So Santa, she originally started it on a blue an aqua fabric and yeah, and I have that so I can show you good okay but I didn't like it as well and I said I'm gonna do it on black yeah when it, she charts it, it she does it on black and it really popped on on the black but if you are one of the, the ones who are kind of worried or um, don't like stitching on black then you could definitely this put him on an aqua. Started on aqua so it's super pretty on aqua I don't know which colors you'd have to change if any. I don't think you would have to change any. You wouldn't have to change any. There's because no aqua. The, originally, that was what my intention was, was to stitch it on aqua. And it looked pretty, but the black, when she did the buffalo plaid and everything, it was nice. So, on Mother's Day, I started Kringles. And I'm embarrassed to show you my start, but that's <laughs> it. <laughs> and I was supposed to start it, and I didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's snow. I started up at the top, it's the snow on the top. But I started in the middle and I was counting over to the left because I I just wanted to make sure that I had enough fabric. But that doesn't even make sense, does it? No. So, that was my start for Sunday. And it was Mother's Day. And so. then she fell asleep in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know that I did. So Tuesday was, or Monday, because it was Merry Monday, I started Jolly St. Nick. Just love him. And then Tuesday, I, I started the, the What's in My Cup home. Okay. And then Wednesday. Wednesday, it should have been a witchy thing, but it wasn't. Oh, where's that aqua fabric? Right there. This isn't the... Oh, I need the sorry. cover page. This is the Stitching Bee by Little House Needleworks. So I didn't realize that there was a needle on the chart, and I'm not going to stitch the needle, so it won't it won't make any difference. It's just a bee with a bee because I, I I'm not really into stitching stitching things because I don't have like a stitching room. I stitch all over the house, so <laughs> it would have to be a stitching house. <laughs> Okay. okay, that was that. All right, Santa's and then Tree Farm. Santa's Tree Farm is from With Thy Needle and Thread. And I got almost the whole first tree done. So what I did on both of those was I used one, well, actually, Kringles too. I used one piece of thread, and that was it. From Like one six strand? Yeah. All right. No, well, two. Two, two of the six strands, right. but just once. Oh. Did I forget to write this down? Ah! Oh, sorry. I might not be another one behind. Okay. So I'm good. All right. I started the home from that quarter shop. Hickory sticks. 
but I'm not using the DMC. I'm using hickory sticks for the letters, and then I'm just using, like they use a couple of different colors for the sunflower. I'm just gonna use queen bee or honeycomb for the whole thing because it's variegated, so it'll be variegated. And I also am using the 28 count whitewash instead of the Ada. Okay. So same fabric. Back, back to the old days of the hick sticks. Oh my gosh. These are bad for me. Yes, ma'am. And then I did a little bit on this on all that red that's not surrounded by white. This is where Liberty dwells from with thy needle and thread and I'm doing the star one and this was started last year for Stitch Mania. That white pops on there. And see if you, I have the Be Mary pack in here, I don't know why, I must be using some of the colors. But if you guys were thinking and bought these floss packs, then you got floss. Oh, I got the Old Glory one in here too. So. Smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Just let me love you. And I did have another finish. Bite me on camera, see what happens. She's not biting you. <laughs> Stop antagonizing her. Da, da, da. <laughs> this is Bloomtopia. What is on the back? Oh, it's floss. And this was what we were talking about, the fabric. This is the tan. Mm -hmm. Right? Not the gray. This is the tan. Right. 32 count, though. So smaller than the 28 count mm -hmm. that she usually uses. And you can show my back on there because it's not as bad as usual. <laughs> Definitely does not look like the front. Definitely does not look like it came out of Kimberly's stitching bag. <laughs> Hers is perfection. So I got to figure out a finish, but I'm, I think I'm going to hold off until I can go somewhere. And that's it. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. That's it. That's all that I worked on. Okay. But that's a lot. What do we do now? Okay, so I got some haul from Fat Quarter Shop. And I told you guys that I already ordered this. But remember my Homestead, Homestead Life. Life quilt? I got the, the backing for it. That's very And there should, be, there should be green there too. Plus, I got the batting, a twin size batting. And then I got a bunch of sticky board. The green's in here. We're just not gonna. So the green is for the binding, and then the yellow chucks are for the back. Yes. I'm so excited. Now that I have all my stitching done, maybe I can get this done this weekend. Especially if it rains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we got some gifts. <laughs> this is from Denise at Dot Dot Goose. They are beautiful bags. The floss keep and the, the trucks and the the plaid fabric with the flowers. Mm -hmm. And she also makes the little floss keeps that your threads will stick to that match your project. So it's dot, dot goose design on Etsy, and you can, we will link her below. Yes, and look at the little star closure. So thank you so much, Denise. They're very pretty. Beautiful. Love the trucks. Love them. And they are packed really nice and sh yes. shipped perfectly. And then from Robin. Is this in there? Did it come out of there? No. Yes. Yes, she sent us a beautiful card. So they're called Freedom Ride uh, Bags and Pals. They are a set for $35 free shipping or the bag alone is $25. Thank you for writing that down for me, Denise, because mm -hmm. I would have never remembered that. Yep. Thanks so beautiful. much. Thank you. Then from Robert, Robin, she sent us a super sweet card and she wrote a lot. Thank you so much. And she sent us this. She said it was the best hand sanitizer. Um, it's by, I think it's doTERRA. It's called On Guard Sanitizing Mist. It smells good too. You and, put it on your hands? Yep. And she sent us lip balm. It's very nice. Thank, Thank you. you so much. 
And then Nell sent us a thank you card. Nell won a giveaway. I like to make sure everything goes together. And this was from Nell. A thank you card. So thank you so much. And then another thank you note. This one was from Patricia. Thank you. Beautiful cards. Uplifting messages. We can't say thank you enough. All right, this was from Barbara Perez. I think she has a business, right? I think so. Okay, you show those and I'm gonna... Oh yeah. Okay. They're masks. In Disney prints. So I'm not sure, is she making these? Oh, these look small for the baby. BusyBeeCraftyQuilter at gmail.com. She made us this cute card. They're nice. With uh, fast passes for Disney World. And it says uh, for the Real House of Cross Stitch after COVID-19 at Walt Disney World. Oh, I was supposed to be leaving tomorrow for Disneyland. Good for all day. Small world, Dumbo flying elephant, mad tea party, dinosaur, and frozen ever after. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this makes me sad. Mm -hmm. These are so awesome, though. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. We'll have to figure out if that's her Etsy shop or if she bought them from somewhere. Yes. Oh, no, what's, yeah, new? what's new? Yeah, what's new? Shop. What's These new? These are those... Like numbers letters. and letters that you put on your quilt pieces so you know what to sew together. They are called Alpha Bitty Special Mark Specialty Marking Tools. It's an expansion pack. So these are awesome. And then um, some more of the library cards that we showed last week. So you can mark your finishes on the back of it if you didn't want to stitch on the front. <coughs> Sorry, it's cloth. It's not. It's called a <laughs> library card label pack. And then by Cory Yoder, it's a very merry, a very coriander Christmas. I can't mm -hmm. speak. Looks really pretty. A quilt book. It is gorgeous. So we'll be giving a bunch of this stuff away. All right. For all you quilter friends out there or people who want to start quilting. You could probably use this for um, making masks too, Cammie. What do you need that for making masks for? If you're piecing pieces together, no? Oh. I have never made a mask in my life, so I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, we had giveaways last week. Where are they? Yeah, in a bag. Hmm. Right here. Right here. All right, so last <laughs> week the question was where you like to spend your stitching money. And there is one thing for certain that this um, quarantine has made you all extra star spenders is what it is. <laughs> You're spending lots of money on stitching. Um, okay, so, which is a very good thing. All right, last week, every week, uh, if you win a giveaway, you email us your physical address. If you don't hear from us within 24 hours, you email us again. Our email is listed in the description box below. Okay, okay, anything? These were from Gina, and these are the first two giveaways. Uh, she made us beautiful notions last week. She also sells them in her mm -hmm. Etsy shop. The first one goes to Sharon Kizzy. That is for Stitch. You want Stitch, number one. Number two is the Thread Spool, and that goes to Jen Thread by Thread 06. Congratulations. All right, number three, there was two opportunities to win from Fat Quarter Shop. This is the Summer Daisies. Uh, thread pack for our upcoming release in the Punch Needle mm -hmm. Primitive Stitcher magazine. This goes to Just So Sherry and Finish a Quilt. I think that, that the magazine comes out at the end of May. Number four was the Winter, Autumn, and Summer. You get all three of these designs and that goes to Stitching by the Moon. Number five is Snowball Stand and there were two opportunities to win that. That goes to Mary Brooks and Kimberly A. Land That I Love was from one of our viewers, and this goes to Juliana Hedges. Number seven is a digital co copy of Stars and Stripes. There were three opportunities to win that. That goes to Kimberly L., Quilt Ma, Sue Gooden, and Andrea Cruz. 
Congratulations. And then number eight was our good friend Shelly. Two of these house frames. One goes to Frankie Easter and the second one goes to Joan Parton. I can't read my own writing. I think that's it. Joan. Joan Parton. All right. Congratulations. And thank you, Fat Quarter Shop, for the charts and the floss packs. And those floss packs are still available at Fat Quarter Shop. And I also saw the My Christmas List pack was available. Back in stock? Yes. And another one. I saw that Gentle Arts and Gentle Arts is starting to ship again. So that's good. That'll be people mm -hmm. are going to be able to get their thread. I know that was some people were waiting on that. That's awesome. All right. Now we have giveaways this week. Mm -hmm. We do. Right there. If you could see the, the table right now. All right. All right. And the question again was um, which of the designs that we showed you in the beginning that are ours do you like the best? Yes. All right, the first four are from LaDonna at Sampling of Memories. Mm -hmm. She has made all of these, all of our charts into beautiful thread keeps or mm -hmm. needle minders or scissor fobs, right. and they are beautiful. We are so fortunate. Or necklaces, too. Yes, necklaces. Uh, so the first one is going to be the July Trucking Along. Number two will be Sam and Liberty. Sorry. Number three will be the Wake Up Cup. Number four will be Long May She Wave. Number five is from Fat Quarter Shop, and this is going to be two opportunities to win the Natural Brown Ada. Mm -hmm. It's an 18 by 25 inch piece of uh, Natural Brown. Number those five. those are from the, the monthly club. Yes. Number six is three opportunities to win Homegrown. That's the one you saw Mom start this mm -hmm. week. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful. So Homegrown, and that's by It's So Emma. Number seven was one from one of our amazing viewers. She made these cow bags for us, and uh, she was. Does she have an Etsy shop? Because two people asked. No, no, okay. no. Not that she put in the card. If you, uh, if you do have one, let us know, and I can link it below. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were interested in these bags as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then she made a a thread notion or scissor fob or key or uh, zipper put pull. Put zipper pull, yeah. As well. So that was number. Up I list. will. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Okay, and then eight will be the, unless her numbers are wrong. I think it is number eight. <laughs> will be the home chart. Three of you with the PDF. This one. Eight, because this one was home grown, mm -hmm. so I know. Number eight is... Um, Three of those. All right, giveaway number nine is from Whitley at Southern Stitchers Co. She has an Etsy shop online. She is giving away uh, Sam and Liberty the chart as well as the thread pack for that. So that's number nine. Number 10 is also from her, and that is a chart for Long May She Wave, and she'll be mailing those out to the winners. Uh, so 10 giveaways. Put down the number that you'd like to win or numbers that you'd like to win. We have no rules about how many you can enter. Uh, right now, we just can't go to the post office for any shipping internationally. So yes. if it's a chart, I can ship it out. If it's anything that has to be packaged, it has to go through them with customs. Right, and, and it's like a long process. So yes. we're sorry that we can't hey. do it right now, but we'll get back to hey. being able to ship hey. all of you hopefully soon. Hey. Yes. So, Thank you so much for uh, yes. spending your time with us. Right. And if you want to enter to win any of the giveaways, please like the video, subscribe, and then list your numbers. And please keep tagging us. We love seeing your projects. And your job this week is to tell us which of these is your favorite. So you have August trucking along, you have Buzz and the Bees, you have Ronnie and the Bees, and you have Jolly St. Nick and Rudolph. Which one's your favorite? The Ziploc. Okay. <laughs> Again, we appreciate all of your kind comments, yeah. hanging out with us every week. And we were so excited to show yeah. you all the new charts today. And we hope that you love them too. Yeah. All right. If you get your finishing inspiration from us, tag us, tag my blog. We'd love to see your projects. 
And follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea356, Priscilla's 2000 on Facebook, and Priscilla's 2000.blogspot.com where you can see more of everything that we do. And this week I will be loading up all the new designs on there so that you can see them. And if you have a shop by you that you would like to see them carry our charts, ask them if they can. And we'll be more than happy to send them the information. To all of the stores that watch us, thank you so much. And I'll be mailing out a newsletter on probably on Monday, uh, just detailing all the designs with floss and whatnot. We try to give uh, stores heads up with floss. Mom puts it on her blog typically, so you can mm -hmm. start gathering your supplies too because we know it's a longer process. Yes. And when you like something, you just want to start stitching it as soon as you, you can. So mm -hmm. again, thank you guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. bye. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we will see you bye. next time. Bye. Can you blow them a kiss? Bye. Turn it off? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>